you guys asked and get it up productions delivered we brought another eight of the baddest masculine identifying women from around the world and put them in one house to compete for a top grand prize which consists of a trip to costa rica a hoochie daddy chunk chain sponsored by 12 a tattoo arm or leg sleeve and of course bragging rights for top hoochie daddy of the house these girls will have to dig deep if they want to win this title you know what i'm talking about it wasn't an easy road last season this is the houston texas edition and i want you guys to meet season two cast members <laughs> Hey, little mama, what's your name here? I'm so glad that you came here. We all the way live, not giving a fuck. And ooh, me so horny. Turned up and faded to the morning. Can't stop, cause we going. I got a pocket full of money, going ahead and throw it for me. Ooh, what you throwing? Hoochie daddies all the way live. Hoochie daddies come outside. Hoochie daddies all the way live. Hoochie daddies come outside. I'm lit. I'm the shit, come outside, I take your bitch You boring, they snoring I'm outside, turned up, I'm glowing Can't never catch me, just giving a fuck But you can catch me in the room with your girl in the book All summer long, we going wild Freaking these hoes like a black and mild Hoochie daddies all the way live Hoochie daddies come outside Hoochie daddies all the way live Hoochie daddies come outside What it do, what it is, what's up, y'all? My name is Mino. That stands for Made in New Orleans. Although I was raised in New Orleans, Katrina kicked my ass out in 05. So I'm repping for Houston motherfucking Texas, ho. The city of the season. I'm 25 years old, a bartender, host, shit, just a jack of all trades. I'm doing hoochie daddies to break myself out of the box that I've built and show the world my wild side. Masculine presenting women are more than the clothes that we wear. We are the attitudes that we carry. Last season was a whole lot of crazy. Hey, this your girl Nelly B. I'm 32 years old. I was born and raised in Lexington, Kentucky. That's right, 859, stand up. I'm a jack of all trades. I served in the U.S. Army. I'm a model, a fitness coach, and a motivator. I stand for women empowerment, and as you guys will see, I'm a goofy-ass, nonchalant, acceptable asshole. That's right, I'm a sag. My goal is to change how masculine women are viewed, and honestly, I'm coming for the change. My name is Nelly B, and you will remember me. Oh shit, this motherfucker's nice. I see all these cameras and shit, and I'm just like, oh shit, like, this shit real. You ain't even seen nothing yet. This shit ain't nothing like Kentucky, bro. Got a little bitch and shit, yes sir. Okay. Man, how you take a seat next to me, though? Nelly B, what state you in? Kentucky. Kentucky, it's good to have you here. You guys are here in the game already? I right, mean, you already know I'm ready to win. Are you ready to win? Yeah, man. I'm ready to see who's gonna win. Hey, Let me get that next who's that. Hey, yo. What's up, Houston? It's 24, 24K, Rogue, whatever you wanna call me. I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a celebrity barber that currently cuts out of Duval. I do content creation, graphic design, and I'm also a retired firefighter. I ain't with the drama, I stand on business, and I'm coming to snatch that Hoochie Daddy chain. Yes, sir. It ain't feel like Ohio out there. You say it's cold? Yeah, it's cold as fuck, man. Welcome, Ooh. welcome. Appreciate you, Woo. No problem, no problem. How you doing? I'm very good. How are you? I'm doing good. We got 24K. What state you in? I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. So you think you're going to win this competition? For sure. For sure. We ain't doing nothing snatch your chains out there. Okay, well, I like this. Yeah. Man. Hey, let me get the next who's your daddy. Hey, yo! What's up, world? I'm Money Grind Hard Montana, or Money Montana for short. I'm from Memphis, Afghanistan, Big Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised. I do a lot of things, hence the name Grind Hard. 
I'm a rapper. I own several businesses such as Road to Riches Entertainment, Rich Locks and Chops, Road to Riches Clothing Line, and Montana's Big Ass Burger. You can Google me. First and foremost, I'm here to win while expanding and growing on my career as well. I also want to show the world that plus size people are winners too. You did, 1000. How you doing? What's up with it? Welcome to Hoochie Daddy season two. You need. You go ahead and take your seat. All right. Yeah, we got Monty, Montana. What state you ready? Fine, Memphis, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Memphis, Tennessee, on. big nigga shit. You need, yeah. big nigga shit. Okay, you ready for this competition? Better believe. It. One thousand. You think you're going to win this competition? One thousand. Well, I'd like to help. One thousand. Hey, yo, let me get that next Hoochie Daddy. The one and only Baby Jackson, your girlfriend's favorite rapper. The little Brooklyn dyke with big energy, big moolah, big vibes. Every blood clot thing big around me. Slotted straight out of the 718. Brooklyn baby. I've been outside of pushing my music heavy for the last two years. And now it's my time. And I got what it takes to run the world. So I'ma run this bitch. My personality is what makes me different. I identify as a lesbian, but I'm not typical. I'm literally a Pandora's box. I use the word dyke to describe my personality because I'm a different individual who kills everything. Yeah, and oh yeah, I'm a little bit sassy, so don't play with me. Bottle action. Bottle action. <laughs> 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 Bottle action. Bottle action. Bottle action. Bottle action. One eight, that's what I like to hear. Anything you looking forward to in season two? Um, that right there. Down that's right my. There. As I walked through the door, it started whispering. So I was like, Oh yeah, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love to hear, man. Keep that energy, cause y'all gonna need it. Hey yo, let me get that next sushi daddy. Hey man, say man, I'm Ty Jack, aka Fly Ty. 32 years old. Yeah, I know. Aging like fine wine. Born and raised in Louisiana, Winsburg, Morrow, what's up? I've been grinding in Dallas, Texas over a decade, so I'm for sure repping the Triple D. I love fashion, always dressed and expressing myself. I put the P and put that shit on. It's in me and on me. I'm looking forward to some good energy, networking opportunities, and dope vibes. I feel I'm gonna win that chain because I'm strategic, super quick, and very competitive. All right, all right. Come and let me upgrade you. <laughs> That's it, it's there. It's there. Yeah, you can take a seat. Right, go. We got Ty Jackson. What you where you rapping from? Hey man, I represent the Triple D, man. Triple, Triple D. D. Triple D. I, Anything you expecting to see in the competition? Hey man, I'm just expecting to see some strong competitiveness. And hey, we about to be fighting over that thing right there. I see everybody want to change. Everybody want to change. I want to see. I like that. Uh -huh. Hey yo, y'all ready to meet y'all next for a cash moment? Yeah. 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 Let's get that next. Who's your dad? Sure. Yeah. This shit is so player. I remember first season, I was like, what the hell? Where the hell they at? But all oh, shit, this shit is lit. <laughs> Duval! What's up with y'all? My name is Cooley with a K. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm in Houston. I don't know what to expect coming in the house with all these different girls, but all I know is I'm finna come get that chain. Oh, shit now. Oh, wait. All right, th th how we living? Okay, let me see what this shit finna be about, man. This shit cold as fuck, though, but hey, all right. Oh, I'm ready. Ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> and how we doing it? Okay. Okay. Hey. Do say. Get the cool chain. Yeah. Do say for the cool chain. Yeah. Let's get it. How you feeling? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. And I ain't cool it. Where you rapping from? Do Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Who you think gonna win this competition? Me, who else? Okay. Well, <laughs> I was just about to tell you. That was good. Okay. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
last but not least, y'all ready to meet the last cast member of season two of Hoochie Daddy? Yeah. 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 yeah! Yo, let me get that next Hoochie Daddy! What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ra Rose. They just call me Ra Baby for sure. Ray from Harlem, ATL. I'm 30 years old, the best sign, cancer, duh. Of course, I'm an entrepreneur, anything to get some money on, I'm on that. What I'm looking for being in Hoochie Daddy House, man, networking, good exposure, meet some good people, man, have fun, man. Of course, to get my Hoochie Daddy chain. Houston, I'm here. What's up, baby? Hey, yo! I finally got all eight girls standing in front of me and I ain't gonna lie it's look like this season gonna give what's supposed to be gave. Mm -mm. All right, I want the best. I want the best Hoochie Daddy to win. So y'all already know why y'all here. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all all audition. Y'all all pass to the next level to get here. Hoochie Daddy, season two, Houston, Texas edition. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got some competition for you guys. I want y'all to know we got a grand prize on the line. I want to tell y'all what the grand prize is. We got a trip for two to Costa Rica. Of course, we got the Hoochie Daddy Chunk Chain sponsored by 12. We also have an arm or a leg tattoo sleeve sponsored by JJ Kell. Okay. And of course, most importantly, bragging rights for Top Hoochie Daddy. Big dog. I want to see y'all pop y'all. I know y'all gonna pop y'all shit. Okay. So with that, being, with that being said, you guys, I got a special friend here, a good friend of mine. She's gonna make sure y'all good. I'm gonna introduce y'all to somebody. She in a V. Where you at, baby? I know she's somewhere around here. I ain't far away. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Houston. Yes, sir. As Woody mentioned, I am the new official state house host and the production manager for all future seasons of the Hoochie Daddies. Okay. I, I got two priorities for you guys. Number one, I'm going to always secure your location. Make sure y'all comfortable. Hope y'all like the spot. Mm -hmm. I love this. Number two, I'm going to make sure me and Woody hook y'all up with the hottest events in the city. Okay. Okay. So take a look around, you know what I'm saying? Just at glance, y'all got a lot of space. You got a dope backyard. And most importantly, everybody, I mean, every last one of y'all got your own bed. Yeah!
that's my only time. I just have my shit. This shit nice as fuck too. Fuck. Okay. Hey, hey, I'm okay. Big okay. Big nigga. I know oh, that. Oh, 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 oh shit. Damn. Ah, oh, 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 I'm one time, nigga. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Yes. Ah. Ah, nigga. Yes. Okay, nigga. What's wrong with it? Okay, then. We got money, man. She the nigga really, she glad a nigga ain't in the closet. Big nigga in the closet here. No, <laughs> we finna have to tussle in that bitch on soul. But she looking at the whole house. She did better get motherfucking their own bed, queen size, motherfucking king size, whatever the fuck. Ain't nobody on no twins, and ain't in no closet. So this whole lit on soul. Hey, oh, this, 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 this me? Yeah, yeah, we roll. Yes, sir. So we straight. I got slaves, not for me, but for no closet. Three, three of me. Big, big nigga shit right here. Three of me. Big nigga shit right here. This is two of me. So, also, side jacks. Yeah. This shit official. <laughs> I like that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Also, so when I finally just peeped in my room and I'm like, oh shit, queen size bed. I ain't in no closet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh shit. Hard, bro. Hey, man. Hoochie daddy, bro. Okay, what the fuck? That shit nice. hard, nigga. That's nice right there. On soul. Nobody that shit hard as fuck. Amen. On soul. Amen. Oh, look at me. Oh, shit. This young lady. This young lady. This ain't my shit. 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 Shit. The house is nice, big, gave me rich vibes. Like, I felt like a, a rich hoochie coming on. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, me went back and broke it! Oh, they can tell me how, baby! They got us together. Why the fuck oh, you know they suck, bitch? Definitely, she 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 put she put her money with her mouth is with this season. She was like, yeah, we going we gonna get them right. So I'm fucking with the whole aesthetic of the crib. It gets very much hoochie daddy. I like this. I like this. I could get I could get jiggy here for the next few weeks. Yeah, yeah, real shit. Yeah, you can never. Call you can never. never. Call real hoochie daddy. daddy. Real hoochie daddy. Call your daddy. Oh, I'm there. Oh, 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 let me make sure. Oh, let me make sure. Oh, that But I do see that there's only one TV. We gonna have to share or we gonna have to fight. Cause I like to play my PlayStation and I like to watch my movies. So we gonna have to come together on something. You in this bitch with me. Look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. Oh, so in the 
bathroom. Oh, shit, they got the walk-in shower and shit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm from the hood, so this shit, this shit lit. This shit lit, bro. Oh, shit. Laid the fuck out. Like, I feel like I am definitely about to be on vacation living it up in this motherfucker. Like, yes, this bitch lit. Jesus so and the eight disciples. So, before we find out who the real who she I, I, is, I'm just not gonna be eating. The Lord's Lord. Supper shall be here. Right. What they said, put cup balls in the side of my mouth. Like, say it the presence of my enemies. Fuck you, talking about. Okay, wait. I don't want it to be. I'm just not gonna say no. We're not gonna act like it's cold. So, I'm not going outside, but we're not finna act. Motherfucker, leave, man. He's ready for a boss nigga like me. You dig what I'm saying? She, who the deal, motherfucking thing with this? She, the one thousand. Speaking of being outside, this will be the smoking area. So if you smoke, Thanks. this is where you're going to be smoking at. For sure. Can I drink everything? Yeah, we can drink everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's all. It's colder than a bitch. It's cold for Michael. Yeah. Brother, this We got to go skinny dipping, y'all. Definitely got to go skinny dipping. We got a little bad Man, I'm so glad these ladies like what they see. And yeah, yeah, I popped my shit this season. Ain't nobody in the motherfucking closet. But if they was, what's it to you? Shit, y'all be alright. Did I snap? You snap. 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 Okay, I'm y'all for real. All I want y'all to do is respect the property, respect the rules that me and Wooda done laid out. It's some fire signs in here, right? Okay. Raise your hand for fire signs. Come on, All right. Harry, now we know. No now we Big know Harry's. who to look at if we got Harry's. holes in the wall. Big hey, no, I don't do that. I don't like spending money on no, things. For real. Right. If y'all ever have a little dispute that you can't resolve with effective communication, take that shit outside. Yeah, for sure. If not, Drown you might bitch. have the opportunity to get your you. one. You might. You, you might have the opportunity to get your one. Just be patient. Hey, I heard a challenge is coming. All right. All right. We do have a challenge today, so I'm glad you said that. But right now, y'all just got here. Y'all done took a look around. Y'all know where y'all rooms at, so I want y'all to get y'all luggage. We got to sit in our, uh, to stop y'all and get settled in and meet your roommates. All right? Let's, Let's turn this city right. up, y'all. Welcome to the city. Alright y'all, get y'all ladies, let's get it. Alright, y'all get settled in. That's all you have to do. Speak the truth. So now it's like, alright, we all here. I'm looking at everybody in this line. I done seen everybody get up. And I'm a reader, so I read the room. So I'm like, yeah, ain't, ain't there hoe in here competition for me. I ain't go front. I just see, I don't see none of them as competition for real, for real. Like, it's not giving. It's not giving yet. It's not giving yet that anybody's giving me competition. Maybe Montana, cause that motherfucker hefty, but ain't nobody giving me competition vibes yet. Shit, man, I'm finna come in here trying to get to know you. I was hoping I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, I'm chilling. Yeah. You probably want to hold me before I even be at the uh, okay, in person audition. Yeah, it's because I was, I was the online cast. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, this whole nice as hell, huh? Yeah, for it's sure. Nice you fun. see the pool in the back? That pool, ain't nobody finna get in that hole, I bet. Something inside of me told me I wasn't gonna get the roommate I wanted. Because from the in person auditions, I really saw myself drawn towards Ra. She had a nice energy about her. She reminded me a little bit of myself and I could just see myself vibing with her. Now I've never met 24K and on the video auditions, her first thing that she mentioned or one of the only things that she mentioned was throwing hands. See me, I'm a person of peace. But if you throw these hands in this room, you could get this work too. You're not the only person that's throwing fades around here. 
Ain't nobody finna get in that. Hey, though. homie, where you from? Hey, I, uh, I'm originally from New Orleans, but I live out here. I've been living out here since like 05 and shit. What about you, dog? I'm from But I stay in uh, Duval. You stay in Duval? That ain't that where uh, Woody and them from? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, shit. That's you got, You got anybody got your eyes on this season? Any you problems or something? Uh, I don't know, for real. Because Cooley from the city... But Cooley was the one I thought, but she cool, she cool. Yeah, Cooley cool with well, a cake Brooklyn. for show. Sure. I'm happy I got somebody that has um, a clear energy about themselves. They don't seem like they are gonna be too much of a problem. Hell you bang? I don't do none of that okay, shit. Okay, so you ain't gotta worry about I that. I don't do none of that shit. No, I know you put all that red shit. <laughs> a whole lot of. My favorite color fucking blue. I ain't gonna trip on you. Shit, unless, unless, unless you, know, unless unless you, you disrespect me. Waking up in the middle of the night fucking choking me and yeah. shit. I ain't gonna do all that to you. Nah, bro. Um, what you excited about though? You ever been out here before in Houston? Hell no, this is my first time in Houston for real. It's your first time in Houston? Yeah. Right, I, don't, I don't travel like that. Alright, that's for sure. Well, welcome to the city. We finna be lit. We finna be in this bitch for two weeks. I got the PlayStation 5. We you got said the... P5. You oh, said you got P5. Shit. I got my blue shit. We in that bitch. You feel me? Bro, I see you put that shit on today. You got that pink. You got that yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite color for it. What type of competition you think she got us doing today? Cause I already put on a fit. I don't know if I got a chain. It's gonna be too cold. It's outside, Yo, inside. Oh, I don't got a clue. And you know, Woody. I can't keep us on the on the guess. She ain't giving us no hints. She ain't giving us no type of guess. This is none. <laughs> so we just gonna do this. Are right, you ready to go out to the clubs? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. They ready for us out here? I'm oh yeah, going. you from here? Yeah. I'm from out here. So Everybody what's lit? Talking about the hooch daddies. What's lit? Shit that's lit out here. Guy is a little one for all the gay people. Ari really be turning that bitch up at her legs. You got playground. You got camp. You got all these places out here in Houston. They not ready for the hooch daddies at all, bro. I heard Finn Fridays be lit Finn out Fridays here. Fridays be crazy. Yeah. Twerk song. He a DJ too. He kind of uh. I don't want to say he's newer, but he really getting his name out there and shit with this, with this shit. Okay. So, okay. Hold on. Uh, you think season one going to be mad at the house? Hell yeah. They even going to be mad yeah. at the fuck. I ain't going to cap at this shit. Yeah. Somebody was sleeping in a closet. What you mean? Like, ain't nobody. Nigga, we got, sep we got separate, separate closets, closets bro. <laughs> <laughs> we got separate closets and shit, bro. All right, so how you feel like, you know, the filming and everything going to go, bro? Hey, I mean, right now, I mean, it's cool because, shit, we really just, you know, meeting each other and right, shit right, for right. real. But it's already, like, folks starting to act funny and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, already. Yeah. But it, it's weird, but I hope it be a good experience, you know what I'm saying, for, for everything that we are trying to do and, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying, trying to get the production and shit like this. So, right, 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 right. hey, I just, I just hope for the best, man. The house already is sick as fuck, dope as fuck. Right. From last season to this season, it's automatically 100% upgrade. I'm so. I saw this nigga at the airport. She told me, you gonna be my roommate. But when I figured out that she really was my roommate, I was like, okay, well, I hope she don't be eating up all my snacks or we ain't got no problem with food or nothing because she is a big nigga. So I got my eyes on her for shit show. Oh, Ty Jack, she be fresh as hell. So I'm like, damn. All right, we gonna vibe out. You know what I'm saying? She a small, fresh head nigga. I'm a big, fresh head nigga. So this shit probably work. We gonna see. It's just like you know, basically just stay true to yourself. You know, stay the same. When even when the camera rolling, the whoop the whoop, whatever. You know who you is, and yeah, you gonna take it up. That's all I know how to be with me. You know. You did like you said. Shit, we already really like some OGs in this motherfucker. So yeah, how old she, are you, bro? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. Thirty-two. Okay, then. Yeah, they did put the smaller nigga and the big nigga together, so yeah, hey, that, you, you we in this motherfucker. Oh, so. One you know, bag, one sound, huh? Oh, so. <laughs> you know, I'm a southern nigga, so hey, gas station t shirts and shit all the way. Hey, we no cap. Where you from, bro? You said Memphis, right? Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. Born okay. and raised, man. Can't be nothing right. else. I love Gotti, I love Dog, I love Big oh, so, Boogie, so hey, I'm If you didn't know so, I'd be like, hey, she a hater fool. Oh, <laughs> so you can't, hey, Glow, Gloss, Gotti, Dog, yeah, all of them, period. All of them. That shit hit, bro. Three, this six, Mafia. Y'all low key taking over the music industry right now. Oh, on so low key, oh, nigga. That high key, bro. Oh, oh that sweet. high key on oh, so. Oh God, I'm oh, so. Whatever. Oh yeah, I'm excited though. I ain't never did no shit like this, especially you know living with. 
eight other, seven other, you know, different people, different personalities. So that's what I'm really excited about to see how this shit gonna be and how it's gonna pan out. But I'm excited though for the most part. I'll talk. What the hell? I feel you don't need no count. I'm coming for the chain though. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold okay. you. I'm coming for the motherfucking chain okay. like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I got a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a nice addition to the collection. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to start on my jewelry, so you know I can already see it. You need okay, man. Okay, Let's now see. we can get a replica. <laughs> a replica. Oh, no, yeah. I can't do that, bro. <laughs> I cannot do no replica. You straight, at <laughs> Hey, bro, this motherfucking pad is sick, bro. I think we got the best room in the house, no cap. Oh, yeah. In fact, you see the LED lights, bro? Yeah, yeah that's playing as fuck me. I ain't gonna brag about it too loud because I want everybody to, you know, really appreciate their room at first. Yeah. But I'm telling you, we got the best room. Like, that LED light just give a special little effect. And they don't know it, but you feel me? I peeped the little bed in the corner over there. You feel me? Roll it up and shit. Just in case we want to hide somebody. Kind of don't know what to think about this. You know what I'm saying? We kind of... She remind me of a young me just in presence, and the old me was kind of rowdy and shit and kind of high-headed, so I don't know. I hope she's clean, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully this goes smooth. You know. Oh, yeah, now I got a girlfriend. Yeah. Cause, yeah, oh, got you a, got a chick. Yeah, okay. I got an old lady, bro. Respect, I can't respect. Eat. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with yeah. it. Um, me personally, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was married and shit, you know, but... uh. It just ain't for me. I'm a seasonal person. You feel me? I'm, I'm here to just get you to your next level. Yeah. Facts. I feel. Oh, see me. I'm a type of nigga where like, I feel like I'm a boss, and you know what I'm saying. All bosses need a lady on their side, no matter. Nah, you know yeah. What I mean? Like I like Fact. for women to have a choice. Business you partner, know? but I need a business partner. Nah, yeah, yeah. And on God, my whoever gonna be my spouse gotta be my business partner. Fact. Okay. Like that's the number one aspect, and they gotta be able to like they gotta like to cook. Because so, I don't want them to feel like it's a chore or nothing, but I want them to want to cook for me because I don't like cooking like that. Definitely. So, boom, like, from, from, from watching the first season, Carl, right? Yeah. Like, man, tonight. Man, shit, bro. Tonight. Like, I'm just saying, tonight, though. Yeah. They gonna, like, we, we, we raw. Like, no shade. No <laughs> shade to them at all, but at the end of the day, bro, like, we raw in the motherfucker. And I feel like everybody got the same vision. Like, we want to make sure everybody get a different dose of each different type of flavor of masculine women there is. You feel me? So my hey, bro. What's up? What you think about these bitches? I right? got these. I got Wait a minute. Do what? Hey, you know them. what? Yeah. Hey, it take a certain type of flavor yeah, to have these right here. We were supposed to be roomies, bro. Facts. Oh, Facts. God, got bro. Them. Got them, them bitches right there. Exclusive as hell. I'm saying, though, what kind of drink? Like, you drink, though? Yeah, man. Listen, I don't drink. Like, I'm more so a smoker than a drinker. But when I'm definitely about to have a good time or turn up, I like to drink. But, like, listen, though, bro, on the real, though, you know, I ain't the one to sneak this talk shit, so anything I say, I say to all these hoes. Nah, yeah. You feel me? Mom, I'm real blunt. Who you, who you think your, your biggest competition in this bitch? Out of meeting everybody, who you think will be your biggest competition? No, Look, no honestly, I, I, this ain't even me too, my own. I don't see people as competition. It's more so about, like, just figuring out everybody's strengths and weaknesses and making them work for me, you feel me? Okay. So it's like, I mean, as far as people who have the most similarity, it's crazy because they put us in the same room together. But, I mean, we on the same kind of scale on a lot of different aspects. Okay. And then, um, I think Ty Jack is very similar to me as far as being uh, very diverse, as far as holding on to her femininity and masculinity. Okay, okay. Um, but See, yeah. me... I'm a real street nigga. Some of that, some of that y'all do. You feel me? I don't get it to him. Nah, some things I don't agree with. Nah, some things I don't agree with. Like last season, to each his own. Like you said, but there's some things that, like, in my mind, I don't care about the community. But as far as me, it's a no for me. Like, as far as getting on and spreading my legs wide open, it's a no for me because to me that's an invitation okay. and it's not open. Yeah, you know, me, it's closed. Facts, um, man. In the bedroom, I'm well, You ain't got to worry about a nigga like me trying to get in there. Nah, yeah, I'm daddy. I'm yeah, daddy. You ain't got to worry about a nigga like me trying to get in there. You ain't got to worry about no shit yeah. over here, man. I don't know <laughs> no worries. You feel me? Like, okay. you know how you see some shit, and you, even though you gay, you be like, that's gay. Yeah. If it, if oh, it, yeah, ain't If you come up with that, then that ain't yeah. it. Okay, okay. That ain't yeah. I would just want to make sure I got to keep one eye open. Nah, I respect everybody. I'm open to everybody's decisions in life, but that's just not what I partake in. Okay, facts, facts, facts. Whatsoever. Fact. But just to let you know, though, all jokes aside, you know, you my roommate, so yeah, it, it, we locked in, but but that's right. my chain. Hey, nah, it's up on... Like, that's like, my chain, if though. We, if as long as you know, that's my chain. Nah, as yeah. Want to know, nah, look. That's my chain. And I'm, I'm I, saying, I hear you. I'm I hear you chain. and all. I hear you and no. all. But, you know, with me having a lot of respect for jewelry and shit, mm -hmm. you know, respectfully, you will not see me with a chain on my neck all season because that chain is mine and I want that neck to know. 
that the only chain that needs so to be So you training your own neck for a chain you ain't finna get? No, I'm training my neck for a chain you not finna get. Oh, we gonna find out. I want you to know that you see this chosen one right here? You gonna hate that motherfucker. No, I respect, respect it. I'm gonna hate it. Yeah, yeah you gonna respect it right now. Because I know what it feel to be chosen. I'm here. I know I'm chosen. It's okay. To be in a room with a chosen person is something that you can definitely feel. When I walk in the room, you should feel me, my guy. But it's okay, you know, it's all love. I'm there for you. We in the club, we all together. But when the competition's, we, it's competition, bro. Remember when I just told you I'm a real street nigga, right? I kept it real with you. That's my nah, I'm keeping it real with you. That's I'm my saying. I'm a saying. saying. My, my name says true, bro. I, I hear you. And I, I appreciate the fact that you got so much ambition. I'm going to give you a hole. I give you an A for an effort. I'm going to say, at the end of the day, I ain't my, no sore loser. So when you lose, you see my tone. When you lose, I need you to get me up, bro. Facts, for facts, real, you facts, feel me? Facts, facts, facts. A whole facts. lot of that. But it's impossible for me to lose. Then not only that, you know how it is in the in the gay world. They swear we hate each other. Oh, no. So when I beat your ass, take that ass whooping like a G. Eat that shit, okay? God said when she whooped my ass, I feel you, girl. Hey, but it ain't. I, 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 I like that you like it. Love. I, lo yeah, I love yeah, but a yeah, friendly yeah, competition, like man. And I love the I fact that, that we in this bitch like this. This is I love that you kiting. This is a holy situation. We finna get it, though. We definitely And I ain't gonna lie, though, bro. I'm gonna be on the phone with my shorty sometimes at the end of the night. Yeah, you know, kicked up. I'm gonna, gonna be on the phone. Too loud. I'm gonna be on the phone with the women who need to be valued and appreciated. I feel you. Ain't no motherfucking way. Who the fuck picked the rooms? What did they throw our names in a hand and pull them out? Bitch. I ain't gonna lie, them putting us together with the fucking set up. They done fucked up. They fucked up. They fucked up. up. What do you I ain't gonna lie. Up. They fucked up. They know what they was doing though. They gonna put the two top daddies in them. Yeah, the two of you guys going to question, right? Yeah. How you feel about titties? Because I was gonna push the man over. So you can make one big queen bit. King, like big king size, California king for the king. You just wanna sleep with me, just say that. Come on now. Yes, okay, come on. So, now, yeah. so also cause it's like, watch, let me see. Like, space bars, I think one, it makes mad sense. I got for me want to sleep with you in. Yeah. It's just, okay. Yeah, it's more closet space. Because we got bad fucking clothes. <laughs> I feel like Woody is trying us right now. Like, for you to put me and Ross sassy asses in a room, at first I was on some shit like, boom, Woody trying to, Woody trying to make us fight. Because we both the most sassiest two in the house. So when I walk in my, at first I thought I was going to be rooming with Cooley. So I'm like, all right, twin, twin, we both been on some ah shit. Then when I walk in, I'm like, all right, raw. Yeah, we trying to, we trying to get, we trying to get shit active. Too. I got like six bags, bro. Yeah, bitch, I ain't even. <laughs> this you got ain't... mad sneakers. <laughs> bitch, this ain't even. Like I don't even got enough for real. I feel like all the shit, every, everywhere we going to challenge this shit. Woody talking about. We don't even got enough. Competition. competition? Nobody's competition for us, babe. I was gonna say that. Um, I hope she do some team shit so we can really show them. Yeah, yeah. Because you originally from New York, right? Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, honestly, if it's physical shit, Nelly, because. That's because she a personal trainer. She, she a fitness motherfucker. Yeah, bitch. Don't be out here trying to bitch press me, bitch. So any physical shit, we gonna make sure we get her drunk. Yeah. Cause she like to cheat, bitch. We gonna have to cheat with that motherfucker. Put a little Henny in y'all, you know? Y'all like Henny in y'all, you know? I was not trying to be cocky, but there ain't no competition because I feel like I'm the biggest nigga. But um, if it had to be anybody, for real, honestly, it had to be Nelly. Just simply because she's more... How can I put it? Ugh, you know what I'm saying? She was a fitness trainer or whatever the case may be. So. Like, no, but now, you know who I really, 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 really like? Cooley. Yeah, I love Cooley with a K. Cooley with a K. That's my dog. I love Cooley with a K. Cooley with a motherfucking K. Like, I love her energy. Like it, it gets big ears. But well, fuck everybody else. How are you mentally? Um, I'm good. That's another reason I'm happy to room with you because like you checked on my mental several times since my mother has passed away. So I'm happy. That's not, like I'm happy with the cast. Period. Like even down to Woody. Like I explained to Woody. Like coming on the show is a new thing for me. I haven't been outside for real yeah. since my mother passed away. So it's like this is my first time trying to like get back outside and be a person. Yeah. Cause shit, my should. mother made me a person. Right. So it's like I'm really I'm you know, mommy I'm not having it, bitch. She wants you to do. She your not. Yeah, I gonna see her face all over this motherfucker. Watch when I get my picture out. Yeah. That bitch going right up on the wall. But do your big one, bitch. I'm yeah, happy. I'm, my mental is okay. It ain't the greatest, but that's my goal on this show. Outside of the competition, mm -hmm. it's to leave this show with a better mental. Like saying like we people, I can still come around. I still got life in me, and just the understanding that some of the shit she doing up there, she couldn't do down here. Like. Yeah. Being here, being with a great cast, like, 
we all vibe the minute we came inside from everything that they said about us. Yeah, it's I ain't gonna just, lie. It's the vibes. Like, I don't, I think, think, no, I don't think ain't nobody gonna have no problems for real. Nah, y'all really, but you know how people women switch get, up for the camera. You know how women get. Yeah, you know, people switch up for the camera, but I don't And when they get, get started, people switch up. Everybody got a good vibe, though. So let's hope that the liquor don't motivate nothing because me and you been told we was gonna be a vibe together. They gonna this is what we're gonna do. They the ones that know, know. They gonna know. If they know, they know. If they know, they know. This is this week of a Ryan baby. Baby, they're gonna, gonna be talking for the days about this. They gonna they, they put Ryan. First of all, how did Ryan baby even get cool, bitch? How did bitch want us to be? The people that wanted us to be. That can't be, baby. Can't two the best. Two bad bitches. That can't be. They put the taboo cheese in one room together. Come on, I love you. I mean, but I'm excited though. Overall, overall and you talking about titties, bitch. Don't we have your titties out, bitch? Listen, it just be a night thing. Like, I'm gonna roll over a suck one. Okay, listen. They, they, they perfect seeds. <laughs> okay, yeah. You I'm, might forget that I'm, I'm a hoochie. Okay, they perfect seeds. We gotta keep it cute, bitch. We gotta keep it cute. I ain't no stripper, but I might take my hoochie shorts. I'm a competition. Ooh, I got the hoochie shorts. You got some hoochie shorts? I got some hoochie daddy shorts. I'm excited. Ass out, baby. Ass out. And we both drink. I mean, this is gonna be yeah. so much fucking fun. Demon time. Really? Yeah. I really yeah. can't wait to get to the club though. I'm really happy that we did this. Like, shout out to me because there's not a lot of older like studs that I want to see the younger ones with. No, I'd rather just come out of the Did you see, did you see the bitch that come in on the uh, page? Is that what? Bitch, hating shit, like always. Oh, yeah, I seen the one <laughs> that the other one I was arguing with. Like, bitch, how you talking about some Woody trying to bring us down? Bitch, I got an Emmy. Girl, how? Ain't you gay? I never understood it. Like, we already got the world against us, so for them to be hating on us in the comments the way they hating is crazy. For them to be hating in the comments the way they hating is crazy. You want my pussy in your mouth, just say that. Just say that. You wanted to be in the house, just say that. You could have been a part of the Hoochie Daddy shit. Maybe Woody had a spot. No, but you are. They couldn't be a part. They not a part of it. I said maybe Woody had a spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. For production, but. Cut a cut a water shut up, bitch. They was real mad that we got picked. They was real mad. I seen that go up and down the time. Everybody had something to say. I ain't gonna lie, though. I'm real grateful. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, my little, you know, my little confidence was gone, but. Like business wise, standpoint wise, I understand why she picked right here. You know what I'm saying? But I hope Shorty okay. Hey yo yo yo. What's up, bro? I need everybody around downstairs real quick. Alright, big guy. Let me come downstairs for your hoochie. You want me downstairs now? Yeah. You want me come downstairs real quick? Yeah. Let me come downstairs for your hoochie. You want me downstairs now? Yeah. You want me come downstairs right now? Come on. This hoochie house is gonna be tired. Okay. Let's go see Hey yo. Y'all, let's go. I need everybody to the living room area. I need everybody to the living room area, you guys. Now that y'all just made such a big deal about the shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's this is our point system, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh, so I want to explain it to y'all. So every time you do a competition, we're going to have one winner, right? Yeah. yeah. It might be two, maybe. Who knows? Right, it's group, but it's a group chain. Every time we it's have one. one chain right there. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the point, Emil. Oh, it's the point. It's still one chain, though. Yeah, one chain, but it's the point. Okay, so, yeah. Every time a winner get a point, when we done with that said competition, we're going to come back to the living room and we're going to mark the winner's point. The cast member with the most points at the end of the season win that their chain. All right. Okay. And the other grand prize. Okay. Okay. So, with that being said, are y'all ready for y'all first competition? Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. 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 This might be my favorite challenge of the season. Okay. The first one? Like the first one. The name of this challenge is called Strap Put. Okay. Yeah. All right. right now, first I want to say a shout out to Raven. Uh, she had some come up, and y'all know she was an Olympian shot put thrower, and mm -hmm. it's kind of structured around that. Okay. Right? Okay. This, yeah. challenge, this challenge is sponsored by 222 Brief. Okay. Shout out to 222 Bree. 222 Bree. Y'all get to keep the props y'all okay. be using in the challenge, and also the winner gets this shirt. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Ace. Y'all like my security? Yeah. yeah. That's a big glizzy now. All right, Ace. All right, so this is the strap put challenge. What we have right here in those containers are dicks. Yeah, I hope they be. Big dick. Okay. When we announced the dick throwing contest, I was taken over. I was like, what the fuck is this? And right here, 
we have a arch and a circle. You cannot go outside the arch. So what you must do is take the dick, like you're in a shot put, put it behind your neck, you get three spins, and you're gonna toss it. We have some hula hoops. Each hula hoop is worth different points. The first two are 10, the second two on the outside are 20, the third one is 40, and the one way in the back is 50. You get two throws. You get two throws. Whoever got the most points with them two throws, they win this challenge and get the first point of the season. Okay, so, okay. Let's, go. let's do this here. Oh, Are y'all ready for the strap yeah. point challenge? Yeah. First competition, and I got these girls slinging dicks. It's gonna be a hell of a season, America. Hey, All right, Rob. Right. First up, in a circle. Let me get your dick. I realized we had to. I was like, I don't know, bitch. I don't use no dick for my hands, baby. I don't know how this gonna end out. All right. When I get y'all dick, y'all can take it out the pack. Get situated, and you get two throws. You get two throws. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
check back in because it's like it's a competition and I just threw a whole fucking round away and we only get two of them motherfuckers. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> gotta be kidding me. Come out with a glistening pink dick. That bitch glistening. I'm thinking we finna, who could pick the, put it on the quickest? This motherfucker said we got a slain dick. I just slain dick. I, I, I can do, I do that. You feel me? I can slay me some dick. But the way she set it up, ah, I ain't never had to launch no dick. You hear me? <laughs> Wait, what do you say we call that thing? Surprise is not though. Go for goals. Go for Come goals. on, Cooley McKay. Come on. Do it like you do it. Come on, throw right here. Come on, throw right here. Ready to All right, two throws. Let's get it. I thought we were trying to see how far we could go this year. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Damn. Oh. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. You said go for goals out right there. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't peace, kid. Two throws. Baby, what you say? Dicks everywhere? Dicks in dicks. Can you imagine somebody who's like, I did your last So far, Rob. Oh, no, it's wrong with points. Come on, you. That'll do it. Oh, that was close. Walk, walk, walk. That's It was cold and a bitch out there, so I'm like, how the fuck am I gonna put this in a small ass hula hoop? There we go. Yeah, my dad's like, she's You get too cold. Everybody's watching that. They know me. No, no. Oh, oh, sure. Oh, you got one more. Time. One more time. One more time. You got one more. One more spin. One more turn. Get your foot in. Watch your right. Watch your foot. Yeah, that's it. Watch your foot. Watch it. 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 Alright. It was cold that night. Last up. 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 I just want to let you know that. I'm looking and Ra has only been the only one to get any points. I know Ra ain't the only one slanging dick around this motherfucker. What's really going on? Like, who thinks of shit like that? Like, is it, I'm thinking it could be something technical to it, but slinging dicks is what she got us out here doing, y'all. All right. Let's go. Two rolls. Right, let's go. She went to the back with it. Yeah. Not that. Watch that hole. Come on, Romeo. You better take that coat up, aren't you? You better take it out. Come on, Romeo. You better take it out. Come on, Romeo. You better take it out. You better take it out. Come on, Romeo. You better take it out. Come on, Romeo. You better take it out. Come on, Romeo. Hey you guys, that was the first challenge of season two of Hoosier Daddy. We finna go back inside and mark the winner's point, all right? Okay. Let's get it. Man, what the fuck kind of shit is this, bro? I'm convinced this motherfucking competition is fucking rigged. Like, ain't no way in hell. Like, raw? Yeah, yeah. Got the one back up, right? Oh, that was our first challenge. Congratulations, Raw. Round of applause. She got the point on the point system. She got the first point of the challenge, and you get the 
222 Bree shirt. Congratulations. That was an honor, Reader. Big dick energy, baby. Big dick slanger. Mm. Cause you know, slang the best. Dick. Also, y'all can keep them dicks. Um, I'm not sure what y'all gonna do with them, but y'all know what you want us to do with You know what you want us to do with this. Oh, five dicks. I uh y'all we had a long day before I leave. <laughs> this is our uh, security ace. He will be here in the house with you guys at all times. So I want y'all respect him and he gonna make sure y'all good. We done had a long day. Long ass day. So I'ma let y'all finish getting ready and uh chill out and get packed in and I'ma see y'all tomorrow, okay? Yes, sir. All right. So. Hey, woo.